Hello everyone, welcome back to Avil LMS. Hope all of you are doing great. So till now we have worked on different modules of uh, different like concepts of Python and we have covered one module that is Python turtle module, right? We have seen how we can make some graphics and animations. From today we are going to start a very very uh, like interesting module that is inter module, right? Inter module. So, but before this, first understand what is GUI, right? With the help of this Tinder module, we are going to design different kind of GUI. The full form of GUI is, I think all of you already know, graphical user interface. Graphical user interface, right? So, what is this GUI? Let's suppose this uh, Thony software, Thony ID, right? I'm interacting with this uh, software. I can open any file. I can click on this button, right? So, this is known as the user interface, right? Okay, so basically this Thony software is also one of the use graphical user interface. Virtual calculator is also the graphic user interface. Virtual calc uh, keyword is also one of the application, uh, uh, applications of graphic user interface, right? So from now, we'll understand how we can create some GUI with the help of Python Tinter module, right? So there are different modules to create GUI, but this is one of the popular module of Python that is Tinter module, right? So let's start with some basic things, right? So first, as you know, like whenever you want to, uh, you are going to use any module of Python. First, you need to import the module, right? From import, enter. this is the name of module, right? Okay. And then first, what you need to do, you need to create an object because this is a module. With the help of this module, you need to create an object, right? Let's suppose here I am creating one object that is equal to. Now, for this, you need to access all the methods of this Kinter module, right? That is tk is the class right tk is the method of this kinter module right now here after this let's suppose if i run this one if i click on run button okay you can see nothing is coming up okay what you need to do you need to write down tk dot main loop so that you can actually see the gui window now if i run this one now you can see uh, this is your gui window on the top you can see this one right so the title of this is tk and this is the size we can increase or decrease the size of this gui we'll uh, see we'll, we'll understand in the upcoming classes right now let's first understand how we can increase the size of this one so you need to write down tk dot geometry right and then inside this you can pass inside the double or single inverted comma you have to pass down the width and height of the gui screen first argument will be the width let's suppose width i am passing 400 but let's say 600 and then you need to take x that is a multiplication and then you need to pass down the uh, height height here i am taking 400 now let's see if i run this one okay now you can see this, uh, the size of this graphics gui screen has increased so this is the width and this one is the height right now let's see if i want to change the title of this screen so tk dot let's suppose if i call this title and here if i write <coughs> gui window you can pass any right now let's see if i run this one now you can see the title is changed now the title of this gui window is gui window right so this is the basic configurations like how you can create uh, how you can call this kinter module and how first you need to make our object with the help of this kinter module class and then with the help of geometry you can set the height and width of the gui screen and with the help of title method you can set the title why you, we need to write down main loop because see to keep inside a loop because if you don't write this main loop the gui screen will not appear on the screen okay so to make it stable to make it uh, static on the screen you need to write the mail you need to call this main loop functions right hope all of you understand about uh, this one right now let's uh, do one thing on this uh, like thony id you can see there are different level if i open a new file the level of this is untitled or there are something written like assistant this you can say this is also one of the level right Let's see how we can create a level in GUI window. For that first you need to take you need to take a create a variable, right? Now in this inter module there are different attributes, right? Different widgets are there, right? So to create a level, the name of the widget is level. Inside this level widget, you need to pass down the name of the level. Let's suppose here I'm passing this is my first level, right? This is my first level. Now, if I run this one, you can see uh, 
uh, it is saying name label is not defined right because this label widget belongs to this printer module right so before this you need to write down printer dot label now let's see if i run this one now see there is no error right but still we can't able to see the label right because you need to pack this label let's see how you need to run label dot pack so if i run this one now we still see we are uh, still we are getting one error right so we'll see uh, why this error is coming right so let's see the ppt right let's suppose if you are creating now one more thing this is the text that you have passed but compiler are not able to understand right the compiler are not able to understand what is this right i know i know we know this this is the test right but you need to pass some argument uh, some keyword right let's suppose you have passed text equal to now if i run this one you can see this is my first level right so this is the level in the upcoming classes i uh, i'll explain you how you can change the position of this level either you want to keep it in the center right left anywhere right so hope till now all of you understand about the level like how we can create the level right so whenever you want to uh, create a level first you need to call this level kinder dot level and then inside the parenthesis you need to pass down one uh, keyword text equal to and then whatever text you want to pass and then you need to pack this one why it is compulsory to pack because see as you know let's suppose you are planning to go to any uh, uh, out, outdoor trip right so you have before uh, like let's suppose you want to use some clothes so first you need to pack that so that in the future you can use this one right same the concept here also whenever you have created any level to use this level you need to pack this level with the help of pack method right okay that's all uh, for this class in the next class we'll see next attribute uh, next widget of this kinder model thank you everyone